go to the beach, each, let's go get a wave. They say what they gonna say. Have a drink, clink, found a Bud Light. Uh, summertime, just about here, everybody. We all want to go to the beach here. Yes, everyone wants to head to the beach, soak up the sun, ready to get out there, relax, and just enjoy the nice weather, dance a little bit to there the music we as we've just been like doing. That. Hugely popular spot around here, St. George Island in Franklin County. Yeah, that's right. And for good reason, this morning we were talking about the best beaches in America. Dr. Stephen Leatherman, a.k.a. Dr. Beach himself, he is out with his 2014 list of the top 10 beaches in the nation. Yeah, he's joining us live this morning from Pensacola Beach. Good morning, Dr. Beach. Good morning. You know, this is a very tough job you got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got oh, beaches <laughs> all over the place here. And a lot of people excited. St. George Island, number three on the list. That's a big achievement. Why St. George Island? Why, why such a high ranking? Well, clear, crystal clear water, beautiful white sand. It's like powder, like sugar. And of course, a beautiful state park there for miles. And I love to go swimming there. Uh, oh, the bird life is fantastic. Big walking sand dunes. I mean, you have the whole park to yourself. And what a spectacular area, really. Let's talk about the list here real quick. A top spot going to a beach in Hawaii. Tell us a little bit about that beach. Yeah, it's called Duke Kanaboku, and this is a beach in Waikiki. A lot of people think of Waikiki, you think about huge crowds. Well, there are people there, but this is on the western end, and it's really more secluded beach. Oh, and very safe. It's got a large reef offshore, so it breaks down the waves. Beautiful, clear water, warm water, just like here in Florida. Oh, a really idyllic spot with, uh, uh, you got to see there. Of course, not everybody has a ticket to Hawaii, so <laughs> long way to go, really. Now, how do you judge the beach? How do you come up with these rankings as we head into each summer? Oh, well, I use 50 criteria. First thing, clean sand, clean water. If that sand and water is not clean, there's no chance. After that, beach safety, very important. Uh, the amenities there. But, uh, uh, you know, it's got to be uh, just a beautiful area as well. Vistas and people like super white sand. Uh, of course, uh, you know, algae and, and uh, jellyfish are negatives. People worry about sharks, but sharks really aren't on my criteria. There's so few of them. And we're taking a look here at some of the top 10 beaches. And again, uh, three locations in Hawaii, but Florida with the most. They got four beaches here. What do you think that says about the Sunshine State and the popularity of the beaches here? Well, we have 825 miles here in Florida of sandy beaches, so it's hard to compare with that. I mean, people think Hawaii has a lot of beaches, but they really only have 100 miles of beach. Most of it's uh, volcanic rock. So, you know, I guess uh, Florida, 825 miles of beaches, it's, it's a lot to choose from. And you also see some. Beaches to choose from. You also see some of the video coming up here on your screen. Uh, Visit Florida and Google team it up for their new Beach Finder app. So just like St. George Island, third best beach in America, you can now walk it. I, I hate to put you on the spot, Dr. Beach. Obviously, you put uh, Hawaii as number one. But personally, what is your favorite beach that you uh -oh. like to go vacation at? <laughs> well, my favorite beach is actually Cape Florida because I live in the Miami area, and that's the good quality beach I can get to. And 30 minutes or so. So that's my favorite beach because it's easy to get to. Fantastic. I love it. Dr. Stephen Leatherman, Everyone looks a.k.a. Forward to these every summer. Dr. We get our beach. summer off right. I love <laughs> it. The top rankings you can find on our website right now, WTXL.TV. Dr. Beach joining us live this morning from Pensacola Beach. If you need an beach. assistant, sign us up. Yeah. We'll be out there with you. If you ever need help, we'll be out there with you. Yeah, okay. And make sure to check out that visitflorida.com. As you mentioned, the Florida Beach Finder. And I think that's a great tool they've come out with, so you can just use these dials. And, you know, if you want secluded or you want action beaches like uh, South Beach or whatever, or, or if you want family or if you want a romantic. So it's really quite a thing as you remember all those Google images. So that's a fantastic tool. I don't know of any other state that has that kind of thing. Yeah, it's very cool. And, again, it took about four months, mm -hmm. as we were talking about earlier this week here on the morning show. Uh, you know, a fantastic tool. You can find more about the Florida Beach Finder and Dr. Beach's new rankings, we've got to post it for you right there on the main page of our website, WTXL.TV. Dr. Beach, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Great talking with you this morning. My pleasure to be with you. All right, and now as we talk about here at 635 St. George Island, probably in